Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because I'm showing you the Secret Admirer collection from Colourpop. I had to check what the name of it was because I already forgot. Um, I did get the full collection because you know me. If it's Colourpop, I get the full collection because I live in Canada also, so I want free shipping. Yeah, I kind of wish the collection like there were different options because I didn't need everything in this collection obviously but I am excited to share it with you nonetheless um, I just checked on the Colourpop site and the full collection is actually out of stock but they always do that they they're like the full collection goes out of stock but then you can either get it in all at Ulta usually if you're in the States I'll have to check that or it just comes back so I think they they try to create hype I think but you can also get the lip set still the eyeshadow palette the accessories yeah everything else is um, still available it looks like where are the blushes okay I'm confused I don't see the blushes um, separately, which is weird, but anyway, I'll have more information below if you're interested. So, I think I'll start with the accessories because they're kind of just like the add-ons. Well, first of all, I'm wearing the hair clips. Um, I don't think I have the right face shape to pull off this look but I wanted to just show you them on so I'll show you close-ups of everything too but these came in a little two-pack like this and they're hearts and they kind of look like those like candy hearts like you'd want to eat them they feel really nice and like high quality so I am kind of happy that they added something like this because I think it's cute and it's good to like hold your hair out of your face also. They also have the Mystery Date hairbrush which I have to say is also really cute. I didn't need a hairbrush but it is a small size like look how cute. It's um and it feels really nice it's like that soft matte kind of texture and it's heart shaped so if I was traveling anywhere, I would bring this with me. Then there's two body products. One of them I consider something I can use as a face product, but I'll let you know what that is. The first thing is from Soul Body. Um, this is the Shimmering Dry Oil in Pretty Peachy. Dry oils are not something I gravitate towards. I do have another oil, like a sparkly oil from Patrick Ta and I haven't even <laughs> used it yet, but that one's more like a fragrance also. This one is really just like for your body. It does have a nice like coconut smell. I was kind of disappointed that it's called Pretty Peachy and it's not a peach smell though. Let me know if you feel me on that. But it is like a really nice pink glitter. It looks really pretty. I just don't know when I'm going to use this because it, I live in Canada and it's going to be winter here till like May. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe this would be something I would put on my legs. We'll have to see. I did test it on my hand and it does have a really nice like it's not too crazy kind of thing it's just like a fine glitter so maybe you could also put it on your collarbones like on your shoulders if you wear a tank top in the summer and it is a dry oil which is nice so it's not all greasy and everything but I don't feel like I needed this I just it came in the collection so it is a nice glass bottle though and just if you're not familiar with the soul body dry oils it says it's a luxe lightweight dry oil with next level multi dimensional shimmer and it says you just massage into skin using fingertips or buff into skin using a brush apply liberally to highlight your highlight 
for external use only, blah, blah, blah. So there's that. The other product from Soul Body, which is ColourPop, they just have another, like a sub brand that, of body products. Um, this is the Shimmering Body Powder. So this is also not something I would use on my body, but I think I can use this as a blush or like a blush topper or like a blush highlight combo because as you'll see, this is the packaging, it's huge. It's like the Marc Jacobs, the coconut bronzer that I have over there somewhere. Um, this is also in the shade Pretty Peachy, but it doesn't smell like peach. Oh, and it looks huge. Like, it's bigger than my head and I have a huge head. So there's like a thing on the mirror here, but this is a nice big mirror, but like, this is very vibrant, I would say, for a body shimmer. Um, and I did swatch it and it's pretty pigmented. So I figured this could be a blush on me. It doesn't say anywhere to not put it on your face. So I'm just gonna assume that it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you're a body like shimmer kind of person, there's the dry oil and this, and you can use them together, I guess, but do you really want this much of a color for a body highlighter? I feel like a body highlighter is usually like something more universal, you know? So, yeah. That also came in the collection, and this is a soft blendable body powder that provides a wash of ultra dimensional shimmer for glowy skin. This sparkling highlighter has a buttery soft texture that blends into skin effort effortlessly. Add a touch of shimmer where you want it, wear it alone, or over sole glow oil for ultimate glow. So yeah, to be used with the dry oil if you want. Another thing which came in this set, which I actually really like, but I'm going to be gifting this. This is from 43 Beauty, so it's ColourPop's other like sub-brand of uh, skincare. So it's called the Good Together Moisturizer and Lip Mask Duo, and it's in a super cute packaging. I think this is really cute for a Valentine's gift, which is what I'm going to use it for. So. You get the Good Mood Gel Moisturizer and the Strawberry Lip Mask. And I'm actually very interested in both of these products for myself, but if you watch my skincare video, <laughs> you know that I have no business bringing more skincare into my collection in any category. So I, that's why I'm gifting this. And I have heard really good things about both of these products, so. There's that. So that was it for like what I consider the extras and then we'll get to the actual like makeup products which I am the most excited about personally. And for me it's really the blushes that got me with this collection. And I guess, yeah, I don't see them separately on the site and there was no like other bundle of the blush. So... You kind of have to get the whole collection if you want the blush. So I guess that's what happened to me. <laughs> but there are so many products in this collection. There are six blushes. So I will show them to you and I'll have like better close-ups while I'm talking. But the first one here, I'm just pulling them out randomly. So I'll just show you, like, they all come in the same packaging with, like, a heart cut out. So even if you keep them in the packaging, you can see the color and the name on the back, which I really like because I do keep, I think everything I've gotten from ColourPop is still in the packaging because it's just so cute. <laughs> but yeah, another um, soft matte kind of feel product. I love this. I feel like this is very high end, like... You could get this at Sephora and it would cost like $30, but um, the blushes were $10, I think they priced them at, if you got them separately, but you can't get them separately, so I'm confused. But anyway, this color is Forever Yours, 
And these are all pressed powder blushes. I have to say, they're very hard to open. So <laughs> I will skip through me trying to open these and give you some b-roll. Okay, I finally got this open. I actually had to go and ask Josh like, am I dumb or does this not open? And he's like, he was trying, he's like, is it broken? I'm like, I don't know <laughs> what's happening. So I did open all of them already. I will say some of them are easier than others. I don't know like there's if there's some inconsistencies in the packaging. I don't know what's going on but they're very hard to open. So anyway this is the shade Forever Yours. So they all have the same packaging obviously with the mirror inside. I'm gonna keep the the plastic thing on it for now but I really like this shade. Then I have the shade Let's Dance, which is a more like dusty pink. Really nice though also. I will say like, I like all the shades of these blushes. So <laughs> yeah, this one I dug my nail into when I was trying to open it, but this is Flirt Alert. I love this mauve tone kind of blush. This kind of reminds me of my, um, Hourglass Mood Exposure, only this is like a matte blush. But yeah, really pretty for like any kind of look. This one is called Kiss and Tell. For some reason, this one has a different sticker on the back. Like they all have this heart sticker that's um, kind of reminiscent of the shade on the packaging, as you can see. But this one's just like a clear circle. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a white packaging. But yeah, Kiss and Tell. So this one is more pink than the dusty, than the mauve tone one. Then there's like two fun colors, I call them. So <laughs> this one is Text Me. I love this. I don't know how it's gonna look on me, um, but I really like how it looks like in the pan. Um, yeah, this one is like fuchsia, so. And then this really nice deep shade is called Baby Cakes. Really pretty, like a, almost like purple, purpley toned, I don't know. So next we have six lip products, which is a lot. I did not need to bring six lip products into my collection, but that's how it came. <laughs> So these are all the Fresh Kiss lip creams. Um, these are the same lip products that came in the Hocus Pocus collection, if you got that. So I do have three of these already. Not the same shades, but um, the same product. And that was my first time getting this formula from ColourPop. And I have to say, I really like it. It's not a liquid lipstick. Like, it doesn't dry down so it's not transfer transfer proof or anything but i really liked how it felt and yeah um i have no complaints about this they all have this this packaging it just says fresh kiss lip cream on all of them but they have a sticker and yeah, it's all the same color of stickers. So these ones you probably wouldn't want to keep in the packaging. So the first one is Date Night. And I'll swatch all of these on my lips as well because I feel like some of them look a bit similar. So we'll see. So this one is like a nice mid-tone shade, like a rosy shade. Then we have Makeout which is more like a nude. This one is called Oh Baby. This is like a nice vampire kind of shade. And another nude, this one is Smoochin. This one compared to Makeout is a bit more brown. This is Smoochin. This one is Heaven. This is more like a fuchsia but not as like kind of vibrant as the blush that I said looked like, looked like fuchsia. 
that's nice too. I also like all the shades of the lip products, so they know how to get you color pop. <laughs> and this one is You Are Mine. This one is like a mauve. Yeah. So they all have the same packaging, like I said, and there's this cute little heart thing on the top. So at the end, I'm going to compare them to, I think only maybe, Maybe two of the Hocus Pocus ones might be comparable, so I'll check those at the end. Then the last thing, which is another thing that I was really excited to see, the Secret Admirer eyeshadow palette. I don't need another eyeshadow palette either, but the color story really got me on this one, and I don't, I don't think I have anything very similar to it, but again, I'll do some comparisons later and we'll see if that's true. But this looks to me a lot like the Natasha Denona Valentine's palette that just came out. So this is, like I said, the Secret Admirer Pressed Powder Palette. So there are shades in here with an asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> I don't know, meaning that you're not technically supposed to put them on your eye, you know how that goes. Yeah, so they just mark those off to show you, but that's why it's called a pressed powder palette and not an eyeshadow palette because of like the FDA or whatever. So you can even see on the back here, the ones that have the star next to them. Oh, and I want... I wanted to show you the packaging before I opened it, but it was like a little envelope. So I thought that was really cute, like a little valentine. But this is what the palette looks like. I love this. It's very pink and purple, but yeah, I just love how it looks. Like the way they, like the order they place them in, I can see like right away which ones I would use like together and you know. So, and I really like the detail of the two heart pens. I think that's really cute. So yeah, the only thing, this is not like what I call a full palette for me because there's no matte cream shade. But other than that, yeah, I think this is light enough for me for an inner corner or a brow bone highlighter. So yeah, the only thing that's missing is the matte cream shade, but I can get that from any other palette. And if you watched my deck of panning, you know I'm actually trying to, well, maybe not pan, but I'm trying to get use out of the cream shade in my chocolate bar palette. So that's actually what I already set my eyelid with today. So I wanted to demo this product. That's why I have Mm, well, I want to demo the blush and the lips obviously too, but that's why I already have like all my other base products on So yeah, I think we'll just jump into this because it's probably a long video already So I think the first shade I want to go in with is the shade with love So like this nice like mid-tone It's kind of mauve but kind of brown also. By the way, there's no mirror in this palette if that's something you care about. That just blended so easily. Yeah, that's a nice transition shade. I think I might just go down this whole row because I just like how those shades look together. So these two are matte shades but this last one is like a, I guess they call it a metallic. I don't, I don't really know what color pops different formulas are called. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with Everlasting now which is more pinky. So obviously if you don't like pinks. Um, this is not <laughs> the palette for you, but I think you, that's obvious from just looking at it. Look how pigmented. And I'm going in with a really light hand, like I'm just tapping because um, there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan. So 
So I'm kind of putting this like in the crease itself and then on the kind of like outer third of my eye. And I think I'm just gonna, no, I'm gonna use a brush to go in with the shade Heating Up, which is a more like deeper pink. And there are no pressed glitters in this palette, which is a plus. Especially in like a nine pan palette, um, I don't think you want one of them to be a pressed glitter because that's not a shade you would use often and some people don't use them at all. So I don't mind pressed glitters. But some of them do scare me, like when they're very almost wet in the pan. Um, trying to get them off your eye is like really scary because if you get that inside your eye, it's not going to be good. Okay, this is going on really nice and smooth with a brush. I do find like on the eye, it's more it's not as deep as i thought it would be as like from looking at it in the pan but i do like it still and i want to go back in with the first shade with love because i feel like i kind of lost that and i want to like bring it down a bit because <laughs> it's looking really pink right now I just find ColourPop shadows are so easy to use. Like, you don't have to dig your brush into the pan. You don't have to blend forever. So I think for the price, they're worth it. But like, I always say in my ColourPop videos, like, because I'm in Canada, the price kind of comes to like, I mean, it's still like a drugstore price to be honest because drugstore prices in Canada are insane. Like you might as well just go to Sephora, honestly. <laughs> but it's like the tax and the duties and the customs and everything that kind of brings up the price. But I still think it's, I don't know. I think it's worth it. Um, but I am also not someone that buys all the ColourPop releases. Like, I only ever buy the collections that interest me. So, I have the Hocus Pocus collection, the, the Hello Kitty collab. I have the Mandalorian when it first came out. Oh, and the Sailor Moon. I think that's it. Yeah. And I've liked every single thing that I've got from them. So, yeah, I know, like, when I first started my channel, I was like, I'm never buying ColourPop because <laughs> everyone kept saying, like, oh, it's good for the price. And it made me think, like, well, just because it's, like, more affordable, if it's not that great, why would I buy it? But I think they keep getting better and better, and so that's why they're still around, I guess. But... Yeah, um, that was so easy to do, uh, but let me stop rambling and finish. I'm just getting a little concerned if I put so much pink on my under eye, which is already pink because I had a disaster with my concealer. Anyway, that's another story. But yeah, I don't want it to get too pink on my under eye or else it might you know, look kind of sickly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to With Love, which is still a bit pink. Like, every shade in this palette, there's nothing like brown. There is like a deepening shade, which is not pink. It's more like a plum. But yeah, it's pink and purple, and that's it, so. <laughs> You're gonna get a pink or purple look. 
out of this. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. I was wondering if I was going to deepen it up at all. Maybe actually, yeah, just so I can try another shade, I'm going to use my everything as like a shadow liner with this like slanted brush. I'm just going to go lightly. Well, there's a lot of kick up on that shade. And I'm just going to bring it across like my upper lash line. Just really messily. <laughs> Maybe I should zoom you in, right? I just don't want you to see my horrendous under eyes today. Because I... <laughs> yeah. I think all the products I used didn't, like, mesh together. And it was a whole thing. Yeah, but I just wanted to deepen that up a touch but not too much because I don't want it to get like super smoky I think that's good and then for the inner corner you know I have to put something shimmery so I'm gonna go in with this shade in the mood which is very like sparkly yeah it's quite like flaky though I probably would go on better with your finger but if you want like a more diffused look it goes on with the brush too and just a touch up here that's really pretty it's not like a um doesn't seem to have like a super pigmented base so it kind of like shifts depending on the lighting which I like so I think I'm gonna stop there yeah I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll see if I want to change anything okay so um that's the finished eye look I just did the same thing obviously on the other eye um yeah it's very pink <laughs> so i also added my tarte fake awake um like a nude liner on my waterline just to like balance out the pinkness because i felt like it was bringing out like the pink in my um in my eyes basically and making it kind of too pink for my liking but I do really like how the shadows performed yeah I guess you can see in that shade that I used on the lid which is heating up there is some like dimension to it it's almost like a peachy pink uh, I really like it yeah I have no complaints everything worked really well everything was super pigmented even this shade that I like barely dipped into, I could tell like it was going on really pigmented. So, and I just like barely touched into it. So yeah, um, this shade in the moon, the one I used on my inner corner and brow bone is super flaky. Like I, when I put my brush in it, it almost like was loose glitter. Not that it's glitter, but, you know, that kind of texture. Um, so I would be careful with that shade. I probably wouldn't take this anywhere with me because it would probably just crumble <laughs> everywhere. But I was able to, like, press it back in. So that's the kind of texture that is, if you're wondering. So, yeah, I think because I hate how my under eyes look today, it's, like, throwing me off. So it's not my favorite look, but I do think everything performed really nicely so there's that so let's zoom back out Oops. so I can show you the blushes so which one am I gonna use so my face is the question I think I want to go in with the first one that I showed you forever yours because I think that really complements the eyeshadow yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty. So I'm just going to use the same blush brush that I always use, which is uh, from BH Cosmetics. It's 
um, broken, <laughs> but I just keep putting the, I keep putting it back together because I just really love the shape of it. So I don't even know, I don't know what to expect, if it's gonna like be so powdery or what. So I'm just gonna dip in gently at first and tap it off. Ooh. Yep, that's pigmented. It's a really pretty shade. I'm trying to place my blush higher um, these days, but I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of just want to go back to my usual across the whole face <laughs> technique. Ooh, I really like that color. Yes, yeah, so I just tapped it a few times and then I tapped off my brush and it still gave me all this pigment. So, yeah, and super blendable also. I really like that. So that was, like I said, forever yours. This like, I don't know how would you describe this, coral? I think like a pinky coral shade. Really pretty. So I'm glad that I have six of those because I do like the formula. You guys know I also like cream blush, but I feel like I have a lot of trouble figuring out when to use cream blush and like how to use it because it's so it could go really wrong depending on what you have underneath. So yeah, powder blush is just so much easier to just throw on, you know? Okay, I just, I need to stop, but that's really pretty. It almost looks like it has a sheen, but it's a matte blush, so I don't know where that's coming from. Because I also forgot to put primer on today, which is another reason why I hate my <laughs> face makeup, but Let's move on. Oh, I did want to use the soul body on my face. Let's see what happens. Mm, it's very pink. And it has like, when it shifts, it has like a gold reflect. This looks like um, NARS Orgasm, but more metallic. I think I'm just gonna go in with like this flimsy fan brush just so I don't pick up too much product because like I said it is very creamy almost. Let me just show you actually. Like it's like an eyeshadow formula. So I'm a bit worried because it's very, it has a very pink base so let's see. I'm going to apply this like I would highlighter, but not up here. So more like a, a blush topper. Ooh, this smells like coconut. Did I say that before? I wasn't expecting to smell it like on the brush. <laughs> yeah, there is like glitter in this, so... you don't like glitter, don't put this on your face. Ooh, that looks nice on camera. When I look at it in my mirror, it looks like I just put glitter on my cheeks, but it has a nice effect in the light. Yeah, so this probably does look really nice on the body in the summer, especially which I wouldn't know much about living in this icy tundra. <laughs> I'm just putting this everywhere, I guess. Because yes, there is glitter in it, but it's very fine. Like it doesn't look 
like sometimes when products have glitter in them and you just see like a big speck of glitter randomly on your face this doesn't seem to be doing that but this is not obviously a highlighter for my skin tone in the sense that it would highlight you know it wouldn't like give me a lift so I will probably go in with a more like highlighty highlighter also if that makes sense but yeah so you can use this on your face if you don't mind the fine glitters I think it looks kind of cute so for lips I can make this like a monochromatic look if I used one of these like more pink shades or I could go more nude I could even use this one if I wanted a darker lip yeah they kind of all work for the colors on my eyes so I think it's between these two this one would be like a very pink look this one is date night and this one is more nude which I would probably realistically wear if I was going out with this eyeshadow um, this one is make out I think just for the sake of this video I want to do something more fun so I'm gonna go with the pink so these have this kind of applicator which I like because it, it allows you to like control the outline um, you could also just use a lip liner That's um, even brighter than I thought it would be. So that's what that looks like on me. <laughs> it's very pink. Um, I think for this look, it's a lot, but I don't hate it. It's just really pink. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's how those look on the lips. They are... I would say they're trying to be matte, but there is a bit of like sheen to them also. And it's very, it's a very lightweight texture. Like there's no stick or like tackiness at all. It's like, honestly, it feels like I didn't put anything on my lips. So if you don't mind um, that they're not transfer proof, I think you'd really like these. If you did want it to last like all day you would probably at least put a lip liner underneath or you would just prefer a different formula altogether like a, a liquid lipstick that dries down but personally I really like these so I guess um now we should do some comparisons yeah so let me get out the other fresh kiss lip products that I have and maybe I'll try and find a palette that compares to this one. Okay, I'm back. I found a few things to compare, but um, obviously like for the blushes, I probably have those shades already, but in different formulas probably. I don't have a lot of matte blushes, but I wanted to compare some things also from ColourPop. Yeah, I guess we'll start with that because I thought that my Sailor Moon and ColourPop collab from the moon it's called i thought this would be similar to text me from the secret admirer but if i can hold these up together this one is more well it's not as vibrant i would say and it's a bit more i don't know it's a bit more pink and this is really like a fuchsia but let's see how they watch so this is that was stupid <laughs> this is from the moon and then 
they feel very similar in formula. And then this is Text Me. So yeah, this one is more pink. Yeah, I did check my other ColourPop blushes, but they're all, they're not the same shades as these. But like I said, I only have a handful of ColourPop um, collabs mostly, so I'm not someone that buys, you know, the regular releases from ColourPop. Um, but then I wanted to compare the Soul Body to my Natasha Denona Love. Whatever this is called in Love Love Glow Cheek Palette because this shade Super Glow looks very similar to me. Let's see if I can show this together. Well, I mean yeah. Let's swatch them. But this is meant to be a highlighter, the one in the Natasha Denona face palette. It's also very pigmented for a highlighter. The Soul Body one feels more smooth. The Natasha Denona one's very like chunky. Oh, you can't really. Okay. <laughs> they have like the same reflect, I would say, but the Soul Body one is a deeper pink. I don't really know how well you can see that on the camera. And the Natasha Denona one has more glitter. And like, yeah, you see how the Soul Body one, it's always like pink. But the Natasha Denona one, it's like bam, and then it's pink. So, yeah, but I thought that would be an interesting comparison. Because these are both like Valentine's Day releases, so that's why like I even thought of this and I was like, oh yeah, there's that shade in there. So, also that's in my Shop My Stash, so it was like at the forefront, you know. And then for the lips, I thought I would have two shades from the Hocus Pocus collab to compare, but I only have one because... The other one I was thinking of I thought would be kind of like this shade, um, Oh Baby, but it's very, it's almost like a black purple, so it's, yeah, not comparable to this. But I wanted to compare Calming Circle from the Hocus Pocus collab, the most recent one, with these two, because I think, I mean... It's pretty similar. So let's do Calming Circle. And this shade is growing on me. It's not as pink, right, as it was at first. I think it, as it dried down, it got a bit deeper. This is Calming Circle. Then we'll do Makeout. That's very similar. And then Smoochin. Okay, so those are the shades. I mean, I don't, they're, none of them are exact dupes, but as you can see, like, they're in the same family. But like, I don't know if that matters because just because if you have Hocus Pocus doesn't mean you bought this collection or vice versa. Like, they're very different. I feel like they're for different audiences, although I didn't buy both of them, <laughs> but, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so they're all different, in case you were wondering. I would say Calming Circle is the most, like, for my skin tone, a nude, like a brown nude, whereas the others are more, like, peachier nudes. So for the eyeshadow, I also couldn't find much to compare. I wanted to, again, compare to other ColourPop products that I have. So I do have the the Cherry Sweet Pressed Powder Palette from the Hello Kitty... What was this called? I never remember. You know, the summer release? Tropical something? Um, it looks like this. It's really pretty. But 
I don't find it's, I mean, it's different. You would get a totally different look out of this, I feel. So, this one is much, oh, I just dug my nail in each other. But this is a lot more vibrant, like colorful, compared to The Secret Admirer. Also, it's only four pens, and one of them is like, almost like a corally orange shade, so yeah, I thought maybe these two, this shimmer and this shimmer, but they're different, you can see. And then maybe Lemonade and In the Mood. Let's swatch them. Ooh, In the Mood definitely is a different formula though. It's a lot more like, I don't know, creamy. And they're different. This is Lemonade. You can see it's pink. And then In the Mood. It's more like a pinky champagne. <laughs> I'm swatching in the worst possible spot. And then the other palette I had in mind was the New Nudes from, or just New Nude from Huda Beauty. This is a lot more rosy, like dusty rose. I mean, there are some similarities, but yeah. This one is a lot more like true pink, I would say, overall. As I was trying to look for other ones, I came across my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. This one I thought was a lot more similar. Oh my god, I'm trying to not <laughs> make a mess. But this one is more purple than pink overall. But these first like five shades are definitely similar, right? I don't know. So for me, like this isn't a duplicate in my collection. I don't have anything else with this. Obviously these shades I have in other palettes separately but I don't have any other palette that looks similar to this one in the color story sense other than what I just showed you. Yeah, so I think that's it. I don't know how helpful this video is because <laughs> if you wanted to buy this for Valentine's Day, it's probably too late already to like get it shipped to you. I will say though this came really quickly. I bought it on launch day and I got it not yesterday but the day before what day is it and it's today it's the sixth so I just really wanted to put the products on my face because I was really excited about this um about this collection and I didn't buy any other Valentine's Day theme makeup this year because like I said in one of my other videos I'm kind of on I call it a no buy, but really it's a low buy because <laughs> I am obviously still buying things. I said I would probably buy something that really caught my eye and made me excited about makeup and this was that for me. So yeah, if you were interested in this collection, I hope I gave you enough details or answered any of your questions but if you have any others just leave them below and I'll try to find links and if this is available at Ulta I don't I can just check that right now instead I personally can't buy from Ulta from Canada but I know a lot of my viewers are in the US so it's not at Ulta but it might be at some point because they put I think all the collabs that I bought have been on Ulta after so but until now the newest product they have at Ulta from Colourpop is the pressed face powders the new ones um so yeah not at Ulta yet if you were interested because like I said this collection is sold out right now but it's probably not actually sold out I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back soon so anyway, 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!